Welcome back. In this lecture, let's work on T chronometer component. The components allows us to capture the duration of job execution. It enables us to calculate the duration of job, sub job, or even a component. I have an existing job over here. Let's calculate the duration of this job. T chronometer start. So this will be the starting point of calculating the duration. And T chronometer stop. So this would be the ending point of calculation. So let's say on sub job OK, trigger the sub job. When this sub job is completed, let's trigger chronometer stop. Chronometer stop does not have any properties. It will act as a trigger point. In chronometer stop, we can calculate the duration from the beginning or we can start from the T chronometer start We can display the duration and console. We can display component name. We can also define caption. Let's say duration is. And we can also display human readable duration. Let's run the job. So you see, it took six seconds to complete the process and we got the caption duration is and this is in milliseconds, 6,399. Thank you. See you in the next lecture.